Hello everyone, this is Quakey from Next Gen Windows bringing you another look at Windows 9. In this video, we're talking about the multi desktop function. And in the last video, video that I did, I just did a quick overview about uh, what we saw from this specific uh, YouTube user, uh, WinFuture, about what was in, upcoming in Windows 9. I didn't know what some of the things meant, like this button right here. Uh, and as you can see, let's mute this actually. As you can see right there, when he presses it, it actually opens up the virtual desktop button or something that they would kind of call virtual desktop. Now let's see further what he does uh, and let's an at analyze exactly what it does. So you can see right there, he's opening up a lot of windows or not windows, a lot of desktops, multiple desktops. Uh, maybe they would be called virtual desktops. And when we click on it, you can see he's opening up a ton of virtual desktops. Uh, when he clicks it again, you can see that X button in the corner. Uh, I'm not sure why it's cut off. Maybe he did it on purpose. You can see he's closing out of all those virtual desktops, which means you can have a ton of virtual desktops open at once. Um, and you can see he's opening up Internet Explorer, uh, and also he's opening up a bunch of other things, uh, files and menus and things like that on this personal virtual desktop, uh, calculator, you know, Internet Explorer Home, which is my computer now, I guess. This PC on the second virtual desktop right here, and you notice right here on the left side, the left virtual desktop is still blank. Uh, there's nothing there, but it seems as if maybe he pressed a command or something that allowed Calculator and Internet Explorer to show up on that left one. Let's go back real quick and take a look at it again. You can see it just randomly appears. Uh, he clicks one and they both appear just like that. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure whether that's editing or whether that's, uh, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but you can see back there, he pressed one, he pressed something on his keyboard, most likely some shortcut, and it opened up both just like that. So I'm not sure if that's really how it is or whether, you know, he has some special command he pressed. But you can see he's back on the first one, uh, and the first one is still blank, and you can see right there, he's opening up the files again and it's going back. Maybe he's just cycling through each thing because the first one is still blank or maybe yeah maybe he's just cycling through you can see the start menu there uh, let's see what else he does you can see he's opening up PC settings on the left one and you will see in just a second that once he clicks on the virtual desktop for uh, the left and right one you see that they're different so let's wait a second so you can see right there uh, right there in clear view that on the left virtual desktop, he has just PC settings open, and on the right one, he has the calculator, Internet Explorer, my computer, uh, like, and multiple file uh, explorers open up. So you can see right there, he's clicking through. I mean, you can actually see even with the brief thing that you probably I've already noticed that. Sorry, that was my phone, but if you've already noticed, he has calculator, Win Future, which is their website. Uh, on Internet Explorer and my computer which is just titled home for some reason it's not titled this PC it's just titled home uh, he's got those three opened up on the left on the right the rightmost uh, virtual desktop which is right in the center there and on the left one it's still just PC settings that is open in a window it's not full screen so you can click on it and we can click play and see some more you can see PC settings opened up and another thing that you'll notice is that when you click on each virtual desktop, uh, before it takes you directly into it, you first looks like you have to select what uh, what application you want to open up that is currently already open. So if you want to go jump into this first one, at first glance, it looks as if you have to click on PC settings because it is currently open to jump into that uh, virtual desktop. While if you want to click on the second one, we can see in just a second. If you want to click on the second one, it looks as if he has to select, uh, you know, a file, not a file, a program that is open in the second one with his keyboard or whether it's a mouse or something. Uh, clearly, you can use a keyboard, mouse, or touch. All three work just as fine. Uh, so it's it's interesting to see how virtual desktop looks like. Uh, let's let's rewind back to here. It's interesting to see how virtual desktop looks like in Windows 9 or Windows Threshold, whatever they decide to call the next version of Windows. It's interesting to see the take that they're bringing on to it. Whether this will come through in the final release, I don't know. This is still still a very very early look at it. Um, obviously, this is this is like pre beta. This is pre anything. It's like this is like before even alpha. This is like uh, I don't even know what I would call it. Nightly builds if it was in Chrome or something like that. It's like a nightly build of Windows 9. Um, 
a lot could change in the next year or so when it's supposed to release. It actually is supposed to release sometime maybe in the summer, or maybe in the springtime, somewhere around there. But I personally feel like it'll come out around the summertime of next 2015. So expect some more news on Windows 9, little things coming out of this channel from Windows 9. Uh, maybe I'll be covering more of the leaks that come out in video form, uh, just, just showing you a quick analysis of each video. This video was all about the virtual desktop of Windows 9 or Windows 9 Threshold or Windows Threshold, whatever you decide to call it. This is Quaker from Next Gen Windows, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.